hello guys welcome to our youtube channel and today's lecture is very important because in this lecture i will discuss 16th important formulas and function in just one video with a short span of time so to get the benefit of these 16 formulas and functions which is very important you have to give the favor to watch this video till end so without wasting our time i will start our lecture by starting with our first function which is ran between and here you see I have already made the formats in which we work and we will start our first formula which is ran between and how we can use ran between function we have to just write equals to ran uh, and here you see the ran between I just write click here ran between and ran between is basically to give the values randomly to save the time so uh, here you see the ran between formulas to make it more practical we will just write the uh, least value which is 40 and the highest value which is 100 which is the uh, basic criteria of every marks in any uh, school or any institution here you see the rand between uh, formula and you have to just uh, select this cell and you have to drag it to the remaining uh, cells in which you want to apply the formula you have to just select all the boxes and here you see the rand between function is applied to every cell but there is some issue if you uh, select any other box the formulas or and the value of these these formula is changing so to make the uh, values constant you have to select all the uh, cells and you have to click on copy and you have to again select the area in which you want to paste the values I just want to paste the values in the same area so here you see the paste values options so you, ju you just click on it and the values are pasted here and if you click any other cell you see the values remain constant and nothing is changing so in rand between you have to again copy the and then you have to paste the values this is how the rand between functions completed now we will discuss our second function and second formula which is sum formula so how sum formula works sum formula is basically the total of the marks so we will use sum so how we'll use sum we just write equals to assume sum bracket open and you have to select all the values and I just select the uh, address of the values which is B2 till E2 which is our last value and I just enter here you see the total marks and you have to just track it down so the same formula will be applied on every cell near this is how our sum formula completed now we will look at in our third which is average function so how average function works you have to just write a v e r a g e average bracket open you have to select all the marks again you see the address of the cells and bracket close you have to write enter and this is how 76 which is the average of the marks and you have to just drag it down so the same formula will be applied to every other cell this is how our average function worked now we will discuss our if function if function is basically uh, somehow complex so you have to be uh, very careful and you have to give some focus here so I just uh, write if formula you in this if formula you write equals to I have if bracket open now you have to give the address of the cell like if g2 that's greater than equals to 90 marks it will allocate the grade A in else or otherwise in otherwise or else I again use the if function if address g2 gets greater than equals to 80 it will gives grade B and again I just write if formula if g2 got greater than equals to 70 then it will give the grade or C then again if else if G2 got greater than equals to 60 give D else it will give F grade now I just close the brackets and enter here here you see the uh, grade C because the marks which got 70 or greater than 70 so far getting the 70 or greater than 70 the grade will be allocated you see I just drag the same so you see the uh, marks or you see the grades 
so the average person almost everyone got b grade or c or d here you see the b grade so person got b grade is greater than 80 marks so i just write here randomly the value 90 to check our function here you see if i write 91 so the grade will be allocated as a grade and this is how our if function works so i just copy our if function so that it will be helpful for everyone to uh, understand so to copy the functions you have to first write the apostrophe and then enter here this is how our if formula is copied here you can get the benefit of just uh, seeing how the function works this is how our fourth if fun function completed now i will go on maximum function so how our maximum function works you have to write equals to m a x max bracket open you have to select the value so i just select all the values so maximum is basically give us the greatest value from our selected area so you have to just uh, click on it here you see the hundred which is the maximum value so the maximum hundred marks which is got by mark in the subject maths this is how maximum formula works and now i just select another function which is minimum for minimum you have to write a m i n min and you have to select all the values and you have to close the bracket so minimum will give us the least value in our selected area so the, our least value is 41 which is given here by minimum so now i use count function so how count function works you have to just write c o u n t count bracket open count basically gives you the uh, nth number and uh, basically always we want to count the uh, to, uh, n numbers n number means the total uh, amount of numbers so you have to just uh, use the count function to calculate the uh, numbers so there are seven total numbers here so this is how count function works so and uh, now i just introduce count uh, count uh, and count the difference between count is it will calculate the alphabets so i just select all the uh, name of the uh, students so we'll just know by count uh, how much students has attempt the paper so here you see the seven so it means seven students have attempt the paper so you can get it by count a function I just copy the uh, formula so that you will get benefit out of it here I just copy here I just write apostrophe and again I just select the formulas and paste here oh, I can write and copy and apostrophe paste and again I write formula so that it will helpful for you to get the benefit and you will be it will be helpful to get the most advantage of it of how our formulas work and how I write it this is how our first sum and different formulas completed now we will look at another functions here you see the LCM and GCD LCM is basically the least common multiplier and GCD is basically the greatest common divisor which is very common in mathematics and this is <coughs> also very common in different subjects so how we can uh, calculate or how can we get the LCM so we have to just write the uh, LCM function here you see the formula and you have to just uh, open the bracket you have to select all two boxes and you have to just space enter it and here you see the value so I just again write LCM bracket open address of the two cell and bracket close here you see 280 is basically the LCM you have to just select all the boxes and it will be automatically applicable to every other box and this is how our LCM function works now I just write G how GCD works you have to just write equals to GCD GCD which is a greatest co common divisor or HCA which is highest common divisor are both same and in Excel it is basically written as GCD so you have to select the two boxes and you have to uh, you have to uh, just select the two boxes how oh, I just write again GCD bracket open 
and you have to just select the toolboxes and bracket close this is how GCD works and here you see the uh, GCD values and this is how our LCM function completed and GCD function completed now I just uh, introduce is odd and is even is odd and is even basically tells you the status of the value is this value is odd or not if this value is odd it will generate true and if this value is not odd it will generate false in the same way is this value is even it will generate uh, true if it is not it will generate false so the values which is even here is automatically odd here so I just write equals to is odd and select the uh, cell and then just enter here you see the false because this value is not odd and I just drag it down so here you see the false true because this value is odd false false true because this value is odd and for even right equals to e is even hmm. bracket open and here I just again select all the boxes not all you ha I you have to just select the one box and you have to just drag it down so this is how it works as you see which is not odd it is even so false here it means true here this is how our odd and even function works this is how uh, even and all function completed now we introduce is text function is text is basically tells you that is either this function is uh, or this the address of the cell is written in text or not so you have to just write equals to is text bracket open you have to and uh, select the cell and enter it here you see true because the January is basically the combination of text and you have to uh, select all the boxes so the same formula will be applicable to every other function here it is and you see 1.2 is not uh, text so it will generate false this is how our LCM GCD is odd even and is text function completed now we will come to our other function here you see the uh, and function and how we can join and this is the uh, our lookup function this is how end function so <coughs> however first I just tell you how, how our first and last name function join you have to just join the first and uh, last name so how you can join you uh, we will just introduce our con concate formula which is equals to C U N C A concatenate you have to just uh, select the concatenate and you have to just write first cell address and now you have to just write comma otherwise it not will it will not accept it write second address and you have to select and close the bracket here it joined the two cells which is James and John I just write again so that it will helpful for everyone to know write concatenate so you just write the concatenate and select the first cell then comma and again second cell and bracket close so it will join the uh, first and last name which is Michael Peter and you will to just track it down so it will select the or it will apply the same function in the remaining boxes this is how our uh, concatenate function works now I just write the AND function how AND function works you have to just select the criteria of uh, AND function in AND function we just write that equals to if b3 greater than uh, you will just have to write it if greater than uh, 50 and you have to just first write the AND bracket open you have to get the first value which is if b2 greater than 100 again bracket close and second if p2 less than 150 I just select the criteria that if it should be if it should be uh, greater than 100 and less than 50 it will generate uh, true if it is less uh, greater than 100 and less than 150 it generate true and if and I just track it down the same function so this is how you see the value which is a uh, greater than uh, 150 it will generate false because it is not following in the criteria so in and function you have to just 
select the two criteria in which you want to get the value and the status if the value is not uh, within your uh, criteria so it will generate false if I just write here uh, 149 so it will automatically gives false because we have select the criteria of less than 150 which is uh, within this uh, selected criteria so this is how our end function works now I just write a lookup function which is very important and very uh, hot topic for uh, every Excel user so how lookup function works lookup function is basically give us the value so I, I just write lookup bracket and it says which value you want to look I just uh, tell that I want to get the value lookup value which is in the address of a10 so it's I just selected and comma and here it says the array from which you want to get the uh, data or which from which you want to extract your data I just select all the array. so how I just I just repeating the function like equals to lookup lookup uh, then it says which value you want to look or which cell address you want to I just uh, gave him the address which is a 10 means I want to look this value and then it says from which address you want to take this value so I just give the uh, address of the whole array which means I want to get the data from this array so I just select here and then enter here it says nothing available because here there is nothing uh, written here so I just write Paul uh, Paul here you see it generates a value which is against the Paul which is one this is how it works uh, not it is not working perfectly how I just again check it out how it's not working look up and it says I just write V lookup function equals to V look up. It says which value you want to look. You have to just look uh, here cell A, then table array. It says table array. Then it says which column you want to look. I just want to look up the column number two bracket. And here I just write zero. This is how our function works. And here you see the poll which is one forty uh, five dollar. If I just want to know the uh, value of the Steven, Steven, so it will give the uh, dollar four hundred and seventy one dollars. This is how our this function works. This is our uh, we look up function, and I just uh, copy the function here, so it will be helpful for everyone to understand how this function works it is very important function if you want to uh, learn and understand how it will I just copy it so this is how our 16th uh, functions and from last completed I tried to give you the knowledge in a fast pace so I just uh, make the video and I just selected all the all cells and for formats and just, I tried to give you the best knowledge uh, through our in our first segment this is how over uh, some functions I completed and this is uh, our second chart in this we have I have completed the remaining and in our last I just completed the and function of uh, joining the first second letter and in the last I just uh, select the VLOOKUP function this is how I completed our uh, lecture and if you face any confusion you can write in our comment section and if you like the video please share subscribe and watch till and so that you will get the benefit of our 16th important functions from last thank you so much